Hi guys, for today, we are going to have capital budgeting. What is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting is the process of making long-term investment decisions. I have emphasized the word long-term. In capital budgeting, we are going to deal with multiple accounting periods. In contrast to short-term decisions, wherein we're going to look at the impact of an action only to the profits for the current year. In capital budgeting, we're going to look at the impact of an action to a span of 5, 10, 20 years. Capital budgeting concerns may include things like acquisition of a long-term equipment. In such a case, when we are going to buy an equipment, we're going to use it for 5 or 20 years. What benefit would it give to the company in those periods? Here, you're going to notice that this would involve an increase in non-current assets. Because capital budgeting would benefit more than a single year, it is highly likely that you're going to encounter a capitalized non-current asset. However, this is not always the case. Concerns such as research and development spending can also be categorized as a capital budgeting concern. Why? Because the impact of the research and development project will be felt in the long run rather than in the same period. As such, it would be a capital budgeting concern. Again, capital budgeting concerns would include a long-term perspective. At the time of investment, we are going to call this year zero, there would be an outflow. In the time of investment, we are going to make a cash outflow. The reason for this is that we are expecting that as a result of this outflow, an inflow of benefit will come in the future. We call the year zero cash outflow the net investment. The benefits that we are going to receive in years 1, 2, 3, whatever the life of the project is, are simply called cash inflows or after-tax cash flows as we are going to talk about that next time. So how are we going to arrive at the net investment? Let's talk about the net investment calculation. The net investment is the net cash outflow now, which is year zero, this is the initial payout to be made in the expectation that it will provide benefits in the future. Let us proceed to the following sample case for a complex example of net investment. Rising Moon Corporation wishes to replace its vendor machine with a tax book value of 50000 which recently broke down. This replacement is intended to avoid future breakdowns as well as increase sales due to its larger shelf size. The purchase price of the new vendor machine is 250,000 pesos. The livery cost and installation total 5,000. The old vendor machine could be sold to a scrap shop for 35,000. Should the new machine be purchased, Repairs expenses amounting to 20000 to fix the old machine after the recent breakdown could be avoided. However, because of the larger shelf size of the new machine, an additional working capital of 25000 will be needed. Assume that Rising Moon is subject to a 30% income tax rate. Let us calculate the net investment. Again, this is everything that happens in year zero. The net cash outflow that we are going to spend as a result of deciding to invest on this project. We are going to start with the capitalizable amount. The capitalizable amount is the amount that can be recognized as a non-current asset. Of course, this would include the purchase price which is 250,000. Other items that would be required 
in order to put the asset in its working condition, such as delivery or freight in and installation. In this case, they would total 5,000. 250,000 plus 5,000 we're going to have a capitalizable amount, an outflow, negative 255,000. So that's the first item. We're going to spend 255,000 to put the asset in its working condition. This capitalizable amount will be the amount that is subject to depreciation moving forward. Another outflow that is less obvious is the increase in net working capital. Outflow, increase in net working capital. Accordingly, this new vendor machine has a larger shelf size. As a result, if we are going to stock inventory to this machine, we are going to need more inventory. So if we need more inventory, we need to spend more at the beginning in order to put the stocks on display. This would result to an outflow 25,000. The increase in networking capital is necessary because this is an additional outflow that we are to make at the beginning. If we're going to stick with the old machine, it has a smaller shell size. In the new machine, it has a larger shell size. So we are going to put more inventory. So that additional inventory that we are going to purchase at the beginning will be an additional outflow that we need to spend as a result of buying this new machine. Increase in networking capital, that's another 25,000. So far, we would have an outflow of 255K for the capitalizable amount the Vento machine, and 25000 for the additional stocks in display at the beginning. But since this is a replacement decision, we are going to have an inflow of cash even at the beginning. Why? If we will buy this new machine, we are going to sell the old one. So we're going to put plus the sales of the old Vento machine. In our case, it is 35,000. However, it is stated that it has a tax book value as far as the tax agencies are concerned of 50,000. So there would be a discrepancy between the amount that we receive and the amount as far as the tax authorities are concerned, which is 50,000. So if we sell this for 35,000, Although it's valued at 50K, the tax authorities would see a loss on our end. 35,000 minus 50,000 is 15,000. If we have a loss, that can reduce our taxes from our income in the year. Hence, we will be having a savings of 15,000 times the tax rate of 30%, 4,000. 500. This is a savings because losses can reduce our taxes. If that would result to a gain, then our taxes would increase. But that's not the case. We have a loss, we will save on taxes. So, if we're going to add this, 35,045, we will have an inflow, 39,500 overall as a result of selling this old machine. Now, the next thing that we should notice, any other items that would affect on year zero, that is now. In this case, our old machine is subject to repair because it has broken down. So we would have an additional savings if we are going to buy this new machine. Why? If we buy the new machine, we do not need to spend on the repairs of the old machine. So the savings that we have as a result of buying the new machine would be 20,000. But again, 
when applicable, please make sure that you would account for taxes. If there's a savings of 20,000, we are going to be taxed an additional 20,000 times 30%. we would have to pay 6000 more in taxes. Again, savings would reduce our expenses. If our expenses go down, our taxes would go up by 6000 All in all, it would result to a net savings of 14000 So, in summary, there are three things that you should look at plus others. This is the capitalizable amount, the increase in networking capital, and if it is a replacement decision, the sales value of the old equipment, and do not forget the tax impact. But be careful, there are other situations such as this that would have an additional issue. In this case, we have other savings of 20000 Then this would result to a 14000 net of taxes. All in all, in year zero, we are going to have a net investment of 226500 Net investment, 226500 Again, this is our net investment. The initial payout, year zero cash outflow. Going back to the timeline, so far, we have dealt with what happens in year zero. We're going to have an outflow of 226500 In the succeeding videos, we are going to talk about the benefits as a result of investment. That is, if we're going to have an outflow in year zero, what's in it for us? Of course, there should be something for us. We are going to have an inflow in year one, two, three, and N, where N is the life of the project. We're going to calculate for these benefits, which we call the after-tax cash flows. Then we're going to tie them together by utilizing a capital budgeting technique. These are techniques that are necessary in the evaluation of a long-term project. If you have suggested topics, please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe.